Hello students. Today's topic is differential aeration corrosion. And myself, uh, Kiran Kumar P, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, ATME College of Engineering, Mysore. Today we shall discuss about the introduction part to differential aeration corrosion and some examples of differential aeration corrosion. Uh, so differential aeration corrosion is a corrosion of metal due to the difference in air or oxygen concentration of a particular metal. It is called as differential aeration corrosion. So the, the, when the metal is exposed to two different oxygen concentration, the area which has less oxygen concentration becomes anode. Once it undergoes, it acts as anode, it undergoes corrosion. And the metallic surface which has more oxygen concentration acts as cathode, it remains unaffected. For example, you can see in the picture where the pure metallic strip, iron strip is awfully immersed inside a soil. It is awfully buried inside a soil. Well, hence the metal, the same metal is exposed to two different oxygen concentration. One inside the soil, another one outside the soil. So the metallic surface here inside the soil, which has less oxygenated area, it acts as anode. Thus, the metal undergoes oxidation and it will be corroded. So this part will be corroded due to less oxygen concentration. Whereas this part here, which has more oxygen concentration, it acts as cathode, it is protected. You can see in the reaction here, iron undergoes oxidation, this part undergoes oxidation to give Fe2 plus plus 2 electrons. And the cathodic reaction is oxygen absorption type and it has moisture in it to give water plus of O2 plus two electrons, two electrons from oxidation reaction to give two OH minus. So two OH minus again reacts with Fe2 plus to give FeOH twice, which is an insoluble precipitate. Once FeOH twice is formed, it again undergoes oxidation in presence of moisture to give Fe2O3, 3H2O. So this is a hydrated ferric oxide, which we call it as rust. So it will be brown in color. So the brown colored Fe2O3 will be formed in a, inside a soil. So based on different conditions, Differential aeration corrosion is of two types. One we call it as pitting corrosion. The word pit is called as holes on a metallic surface. So you can see in the figure here, there is a small dust particles which is accumulated on a surface of a metal. So this dust particles is in a metallic surface for longer duration where below the dust particle the oxygen concentration is less. It is of poor oxygen concentration so it becomes anode whereas other part has large oxygenated area which acts as cathode. So this becomes anode it undergoes oxidation and this part here has large oxygenated area, the cathodic reaction will be the formation of 2OH minus. So 2OH minus again reacts with Fe2 plus to give FeOH twice. And finally, it again undergoes oxidation in presence of oxygen and moisture to give Fe2O3, 3H2, which we call it as hydrated ferric oxide. So this is a rust which is formed here. So due to small anodic area and very large cathodic area, the corrosion rate will be very high and hence it is one of a highly destructive form of corrosion. Now we shall see some examples 
So due to the pitting corrosion, a metallic pipe has got holes in it. It is due to differential aeration corrosion and that too it is due to pitting corrosion. You can see one more example of pitting corrosion. And here you can see in a pipe, whole pipe is corroded due to pitting. Now we shall move on to the second type of corrosion, what we call it as waterline corrosion. You can see in the figure here, this is a metallic tank where water is stored in, inside a metallic tank for longer duration. Now, the same metal, metallic tank, is exposed to two different oxygenated area, one inside the water and outside the water. So this surface here has more oxygen concentration, high oxygen concentration. This surface inside the water has less oxygen concentration. So this becomes anode, this part, whole part becomes anode and this part becomes cathode. You can see one more example, ship, where ship, you know that ship is always may be placed in a water. So ship has, the metallic surface, this part has two different oxygen concentration, one inside the soil, sorry, inside the water, another one outside the water. So this becomes anode and this part becomes cathode. So anodic reaction, as you know, it is Fe to give Fe2 plus plus two electrons. It is an oxidation reaction. And the cathodic reaction is water plus O2 to give two OH minus. Again, Fe2 plus reacts with two OH to give FeOH twice. Final reaction is after further oxidation, it forms Fe2O3, 3H2O. So the corrosion product is formed here just below the waterline, hence it is called as waterline corrosion, waterline corrosion. Let us see some examples. You can see here the bridge, metallic bridge, which is collapsed due to pitting corrosion. Sorry, waterline corrosion, I'm sorry. It is due to waterline corrosion. You can see one more example where the boat is corroded due to waterline corrosion, due to difference in oxygen concentration, one inside and other outside. This is one more example. Now, we will overview the uh, differential metal corrosion and differential aeration corrosion. Differential metal corrosion occurs when two dissimilar metals or different metals placed in a corrosive environment. And whereas differential aeration corrosion occurs when the single metal is placed in two different oxygenated area. Here, the less E0 acts as anode, it corrodes easily. Here, low oxygen concentration, it acts as anode, it corrodes. You can see an example, iron and copper placed in a corrosive environment. Iron has less E0, it undergoes corrosion. Copper has more E0, it is protected. So here, uh, in aeration corrosion, iron, uh, it is placed in a two different oxygenated area, one below the soil, another above the soil. So this part acts as anode, this remains unaltered. This is an example, copper bolt and steel nut. The corrosion due to differential metal corrosion, one copper and steel. This is an example of differential aeration corrosion where the metallic bridge collapses or undergoes corrosion due to difference in oxygen concentration. Thank you.